Hi guys and welcome to another video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've had a lot of questions lately about uh, viewable height and viewable width units versus percentages. They're two measurements, but they do actually different things. And uh, a lot of people seem to be getting confused about this. I mean, percentages, they can be the height of anything. So if you've got a div inside another div, if you give it a percentage of the height, it's going to be the percentage of the height of the parents div. I'll demonstrate that now. I'm using a bootstrap template for this. Um, I know this is a Divi video, but um, it's just as easy to demonstrate simply with this. So I've just got a little bootstrap template here. What I'm going to do is create a couple of divs. OK, let's delete what we got here and build our own little section. I'm going to build a section. And I want to give it a bit of style. First thing I'm going to do is give it a background color. And we'll make that blue. And let's give it a height. And I'm going to make it 700 pixels tall for no particular reason. And we'll give it a, a width of 100, 100 VW viewable width so that just stretches the whole of the viewable area of the screen. Just save that, control S, make sure that's working for us. There it is, blue, 700 pixels tall and stretching the screen. Inside there, let's put another div. This one, now I'm going to do the same thing. In fact, I'll copy this style over the top and just change a few things around here. We'll say background green. Now I'm going to say height 100%. And width, let's say 50 VW. So it should be half the width of the screen. We're just I want it in the middle so we can see it well. So I'm going to say margin auto. OK, let's save that. Control S to save. Back to the site. Refresh. OK, so we've got a blue section that's 700 pixels deep and 100 VW viewable width. So it's stretching the whole of the viewable width. Now inside, We've got a green section that's 100% because it's only stretching 100% of the actual parent div, which is the section that it's in. So it's not stretching 100% of the screen. If I go back and change that from 100% to 100 VW, you're going to see it spill out over. So let's do that. So here's the bottom section, height 100%. Let's change that 100 viewable width. Uh, viewable height rather bh and save that go back to the site now when i refresh this green section is going to a green div is going to spill out of the section there and be a hundred the full screen viewable height there it is as you can see so percentage works different 100 percent works very differently from a, a hundred viewable width and we can demonstrate it in different ways as well. Let's change the blue section to a width. We'll say 70 viewable width. So it's going to be 70% of the viewable area of the screen. And let's make the width of this 70 We'll make it 70% instead of 70 BW. So it'll be 70% of the viewable width. So it'll be shorter than the top one. Save that back to the site. There we go. See our blue section is now 70 of the viewable width. And this is 70% 
of the parent container which is the blue section now if I change this to 70 VW it'll be exactly the same as the blue one both exactly the same there so I hope that makes a bit of sense for you the difference in percent I'll just do another one we'll change the height of this green one to 50 percent and it'll be 50 percent of the blue one behind it so let's do that so we want we're working on the green one height width height we'll make this 50 percent so it'll be not 50% of the screen, but 50% of the blue container that's behind it, the section right here. Save that. There we go, the green one's half the size of the blue one. It might not look like it. What you've got to remember with viewable height as well, if you've got uh, a nav bar on top here, it's behind there, it's including the whole of the viewable area, which is to the top of the black bar right there. So if you wanted to get them exactly right, you'd have to drop it down a little bit and take into consideration the nav bar there. So you can just give it a bit of margin top on the section. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably about 50 picks. Let's have a look, margin 50 pixels. Save that. There we go, and then pretty much equal there. I don't know, that looks pretty much bang on. Let's just inspect this. Don't need the uh, responsive toggler on. Just want to look at that margin top. There we are. Actually, we're on the blue one margin top 50 picks just want to roll that off of it actually yeah it was you can see there you see the gap appearing it was actually 57 pixels that's fine if you want it because that's one thing you've got to just take into consideration when you're using viewable height or viewable width it's the whole of the viewable width and take into consideration the nav bar at the top so I hope that sort of cleared a few things up about percentages and VW and VH. They're both great tools. Use them in different situations. Just remember, viewable height and viewable width. You're measuring against the screen width and height. Percentages, you're measuring against the containing element, whatever it happens to be. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.